That was dramatic. Whew. So what is copywriting? I'll be honest with you, a lot of the times I need to constantly ask myself what copywriting is because there's just so much confusing, misleading information on the internet. It's like it's almost like copywriting has become this void. Like it's like this black box where if you know what copywriting is, you're in the know, right? Like everyone's talking about copywriting like some magical way to make money, you're like a hustler, you're making all this money. It's almost like a buzzword like drop shipping and things like that. But it's not really. Okay. So, before we go any further, I just wanted to say thank you all for watching and subscribing to this channel. Believe it or not, when this video comes out, I'm either going to be at or past 8,000 subscribers or close to it. That is crazy. It's been just over a year. I never thought this channel would get this big. I just wanted to see if I could put stuff out there that would be helpful. So thank you so much for coming with me on this journey and I'm excited to see where the channel goes in the next few years. So if you haven't already subscribed, it'd be really cool if you consider subscribing. There's a button somewhere, it's YouTube, you know where to find it. Back to the video. So here's my definition of what copywriting is and I think it's one that might add a lot of clarity uh, for anyone who's confused as to what copywriting even is. So copywriting is the act of writing anything that helps indirectly or directly market or sell something, full stop. So what does that mean? Basically, anything you see online that is written content that is used to help build brand awareness, educate clients, provide value, sell something, advertise something, basically any piece of text or copy would be considered copywriting. So when you think of copywriting in the light of it being this you know, mysterious way of making money online, it really isn't. It really just boils down to that. It's any form of text that's used to help market or sell something for a company. And I use the term market or sell something very, very broadly, right? So I said anything that indirectly or directly helps market or sell something. You might be wondering how does something indirectly help market or sell something? Well, if you think of a lot of the brands out there, a lot of the ways they attract clients is through kind of passive marketing, right? Like a blog, for example, would be a good example of that. Um, there's a company called HubSpot. They sell CRM and marketing software, but they have a blog that they post a ton of helpful articles that aren't related directly to their product, like how to get started in sales, how to build businesses, how to do Shopify stores. You can find almost anything related to um, working online or starting a, a startup on Shopify's or on HubSpot's blog. And um, that would be considered indirect marketing, right? It's indirectly bringing people to the website, right? It's providing value to them through a really awesome blog post. It's directing them to that blog post through an SEO strategy. And, you know, indirectly, it might help someone click around, browse other products that, you know, HubSpot would have for sale on their website, you know, bookmark the page. It's indirectly getting people to the website. That, like writing a post that can do that, is an excellent example of what copywriting is. Now on the other side of the spectrum, there's more direct copywriting. So direct copywriting would be things that uh, are directly intended to sell or market something to someone. So take me for example. I consider myself a copywriter and how I make most of my money copywriting is through writing marketing emails. A lot of the times my emails are either intended to help clients book meetings with prospects, market a product or service, or send out a newsletter to update clients on products or services. This is more of a direct form of copywriting because the copy I write is intended to get someone to take some form of action, whether that be responding to accept a meeting request, uh, purchasing a product through an online store, or just visiting the website to learn more about products or services that are coming down the pipe. So in my case, as a copywriter, it's not so much about building a blog post, for example, like in my indirect example of copywriting and using that to draw people to a website, I focus more on the direct approach. Email marketing, um, LinkedIn messages to help build a following on LinkedIn. I do do some website copy. I more so focus on writing 
the copy for sales pages, like static sales pages. So if someone visits the website, you know, either through an email that someone like me has written for them or on their own, when they get to the sales page, they get all the information they need on the product or service they're interested in. That's the form of copywriting I take care of. So the next thing I wanted to cover is, you know, really the, the big question out there, which a lot of people ask me is, how do copywriters know what to write? Like, is there some trick or code that I need to crack to become a copywriter? And the short answer is no. The long answer is this. As a copywriter, the way that I am able to write effective copy is by asking my clients to answer questions about their business, their products, the value their products can bring, and what their goals are with this particular piece of copy. There's no tricks here. Every client I take on, the first step before we can get to work on their project is to ask them discovery questions. What do they do? Why do they do it? Why do people care? Uh, who are they targeting? I ask, as mu I ask as many questions as I can to help me collect all the information I need to write a piece of copy that's gonna resonate with their target audience based on their brand messaging. Me, myself, I don't have this type of information for a specific company innately in my brain. What I do have as a copywriter is the ability to take what they tell me about their product, service, business, and clients and put it into a piece of copy that's going to read well, that's going to encourage the person to take action, and is going to do a good job getting the business I'm working for's message across. So if you're wondering if there's some magic trick to knowing how to be a copywriter, there really isn't, right? As long as you are a pretty good writer and have the understanding of the types of questions you need to ask your clients to gather that information, you could probably get started on writing something, right? Now, of course, experience matters. And as a new copywriter, you're probably not gonna write something as solid as someone like me or someone more experienced than me. But there's no, there's no like inherent, nothing inherent about me that makes me better suited to be a copywriter. I didn't read some PDF or white paper that taught me this. It comes from practice, but the basis of it and the, the basis of how a copywriter knows what to write is through understanding the client, the product, and their clients. It's pretty much it. Obviously, it's more complicated than this short bit in this video. Sometimes qualification and discovery with the client can take hours, days, or weeks. It all depends on what you're writing for and what the goal is of the client. And so if you've heard of copywriting, you've probably also heard the term content writing thrown around. Content writing is another one of these things that people are doing online to make money. And uh, a lot of people ask what the difference is. So if you remember, I said that copywriting is the act of writing stuff that indirectly or directly helps sell or market something. So a lot of people online argue that content writing is the act of writing content without the uh, end goal of selling or marketing something. So here's where the lines get blurry. In my opinion, you could argue that all copywriting, or excuse me, all content writing is copywriting. And, and here's the reason I say that. Um, we live in a digital world, right? So every asset that a business puts into the internet affects their brand and the, their customer's perception of that brand in some way. So in my definition of copywriting, I use the key term could indirectly sell or market something. I think that co all content writing does that. Any piece of content a business puts online can affect their brand. And anything that affects their brand could affect a, a client or a prospect's likelihood to purchase something from them, book a meeting with them, or visit their website. So that's my opinion on copywriting versus content writing. It, it's a pretty blurred line, right? So I mean, I, I know there's probably a lot of people who would argue that content writing and copywriting is very different, and there, there probably are situations where there's a clear differentiation between the two. What I'm trying to tell you is if you're watching this video to learn about what copywriting is, don't get hung up on that difference. If you're a copywriter, like in a lot of my other videos, I tell you to focus on one or two niches of copywriting so you can get good at it and offer value to your clients. Do that and expand as the projects come your way. You know, if people, people are gonna ask you if you can do different things for them, and if you can, great. If you can't, let them know that. But as a copywriter, it's really up to you to figure out what you can help clients with, where you can add value, and what copy or content you can produce to help them do that. So 
I hope this video is helpful. If you were curious about what copywriting is, let me know in the comments if this has helped clear the air for you. If it hasn't, let me know what's still confusing and I'll do my best to um, answer questions in the comments. So until next time, cheers.